Dear students, welcome to my channel HSC English Version BD. In this part 1 tutorial, we are going to learn how to solve mathematical problems that are related to Rydberg's formula. This is one of the most important topic for board examination and even for admission test. So, let us try to understand this topic from A to Z. Look at these two formulas. 1 over lambda equals to Rh Z square times 1 over N1 square minus 1 over N2 square and 1 over lambda equals to Rh times 1 over N1 square minus 1 over N2 square. This is Rydberg's formula but in full form. This is also Rydberg's formula but in short form. To determine the wavelength for all atoms, we use this formula. On the other hand, to determine the wavelength only for hydrogen atom, we use this formula. If we want to determine the wavelength for hydrogen atom, we can use this formula also. Now, I am going to explain you why should we use this short form. See, Z square is absent here. This Z represents the atomic number of any atom. As the atomic number of hydrogen atom is 1, we need not to write here this Z square. If we analyze test papers, then we will see that only for hydrogen atom we are asked to determine wavelength. As we deal with only hydrogen atom, we will have to use this short form repeatedly. This lambda represents the wavelength of the photon. This Rh represents Rydberg's constant. This N1 represents the number of lower energy level. And this N2 represents the number of higher energy level. Many students get confused about taking the value of this N1 and this N2. They think, Will the value of this N1 be greater or smaller than the value of this N2? Or will the value of this N2 be greater or smaller than the value of this N1? Actually, it is not important to know from higher electron jumps or higher electrons reaches. Always try to remember that the value of N1 must be smaller than the value of N2. Now, I want you to focus on this Rh. Rh means Rydberg's constant. It has two values. One is 2.18 times 10 inverse 18 joule. And the other is 109678 per centimeter. We will try to memorize this value like this. 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 per centimeter. See, this value of Rh is in the form of Joule unit, but this value of Rh is in the form of centimeter unit. We use this value to find out the energy of absorbed or radiated ray equals to H nu equals to Hc over lambda. Joule cannot be the unit of wavelength. The unit of wavelength will must be in centimeter unit or meter unit or nanometer unit or angstrom unit. If we use this formula, then this joule unit will automatically be converted to centimeter or meter unit. On the other hand, to determine wavelength, we use this value. Note that while determining the color of the wavelength, if we get the value of the wavelength in centimeter unit, then we must convert the unit to nanometer unit. Or, if we get the value of the wavelength in meter unit, then we will also have to convert the unit to nanometer unit. Why in nanometer unit? Because we get the color chart of wavelength in only nanometer unit. Look at this chart of the color range of the wavelengths. See, all these ranges are in nanometer unit. Do you understand? Now the question is, how can we convert centimeter unit to nanometer unit? Or how can we convert meter unit to nanometer unit? Very simple. 
to convert centimeter unit to nanometer unit we will just multiply 10 to the power 7 with the value of lambda because 1 centimeter equals to 10 to the power 7 nanometer again to convert meter unit to nanometer unit we will just multiply 10 to the power 9 with the value of lambda because 1 meter equals to 10 to the power 9 nanometer now we will solve this mathematical problem determine the color of the wavelength for the transfer of the electron shown in the model look at this data transfer of the electron it means that electron jumped back from this n energy level to this l energy level we know that if electron jumps from one energy level to another energy level then to determine wavelength we will have to apply Rydberg's formula. We also know that this formula is for all atoms and this formula is for hydrogen atom. According to this question, we have only this model of an atom, but we do not have the name of this atom anywhere in this question. Do remember, if we do not get the name of atom in the question, then we will have to assume that hydrogen atom is present there. From this point of view, we can say that this model is the model of hydrogen atom. Therefore, we will use this formula to find out the color of its wavelength. This is first orbit, so n equals to 1 here. This is second orbit, so n equals to 2 here. This is third orbit. So, n equals to 3 here. This is 4th orbit. So, n equals to 4 here. We know that the value of n1 will always be smaller than the value of n2. See, this value of n is smaller than this value of n. So, these two will be the value of this n1 and this 4 will be the value of this n2. This is Rydberg's constant. The value of this constant is 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 per centimeter. If we put the value of n1, n2 and Rydberg's constant here in this formula, then we will get this value which is in per centimeter unit. See, we are looking for finding out the value of this lambda but lambda is here in a divided state to get the value of this lambda we will have to reverse this fraction if we do so we will get this value but we will get this value in centimeter unit not in this per centimeter unit many students make mistake to change this per centimeter unit to this centimeter unit so my dear students, be careful about the change of unit. Now, we will have to convert this centimeter unit to nanometer unit. We know that 1 centimeter equals 10 to the power 7 nanometer. If we multiply 10 to the power 7 with this value, then we will get this value in nanometer unit. Look at this color chart of wavelength according to this range. See, this 486 nanometer is in the ranges of 450 to 495 nanometer. See, in this range, we get sky blue color. Therefore, we can say that the color of the wavelength for the transfer of the electron is sky blue. So, my dear students, to determine the color of wavelengths, make sure to memorize this chart. In our next tutorial, we will learn about how to calculate the wavelengths from Lyman, Bamar, Paschen, Bracket and Fun Series. Thanks a lot for watching.